we put a huge premium on body language. And if your body language is bad, you will never get in the game. Ever. I don't, I don't care how good you are. If somebody says, well, you know, you just benched Stewie for, you know, 35 minutes in the Memphis game a couple years ago. Yeah, I did. Oh, but I was to motivate her for the South Carolina game the following Monday. No, it wasn't. Stewie was acting like a 12-year-old. So I put her on the bench and said, sit there. It doesn't matter on our team. Now, the other coaches might say, well, you can do that because you got three other, you know, All-Americans. I get that. I understand that. But I'd rather lose than watch kids play the way some kids play. I'd rather lose. And they're allowed to get away with just whatever. And they're always thinking about themselves. Me, 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 me. I didn't score, so why should I be happy? I'm not getting enough minutes. Why should I be happy? That's the world that we live in today, unfortunately. And kids check the scoreboard sometimes because they're going to get yelled at by their parents if they don't score enough points. It's, don't get me started. So when I, when I look at my team, they know this. When I watch game film, I'm checking what's going on on the bench. And if somebody's asleep over there, somebody doesn't care, somebody's not engaged in the game, they will never get in the game, ever. And they know that. They know I'm not kidding.